Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, The Walking Dead Season 2. I just got done recording the last episode, and because of the way the, uh, well, partly because of the way the last episode ended with the, uh, the to be continued thing, partly because of that, and partly because I'm just in a really good recording mood. So I want to, like, finish the whole game. And it is currently, it just hit 4 a.m. So I'm going to be up all night playing this game. So let's do it. It's gonna start. Oh, <sighs> what is it? Amid the ruins. Uh, I don't know who you are. Um, I don't know who you are. Are they just walkers? I don't know. Okay, start episode four. Amid the ruins. So last time I made the choice to cut off Sarita's arm when she was getting munched on by a zombie. So I think Kenny might be a bit upset about that, but oh well. Everybody just losing body parts. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? Wasn't that from the previous episode? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Yeah. Stop! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Shit. Sorry about that arm. Don't worry, they'll just eat it like a chicken wing. <laughs> Come. That wasn't, again, that wasn't her accent. Oh well. You. You. Oh, well. Um, she's dead. I won't let you die. Have to move. There's too many. Come on, babe. Kenny. She's dead, man. Leave her alone. She was bit. I had to do How it. Fucking dare you, Clementine! It isn't gonna go like this, Kenny. I won't be left alone again. We're gonna leave. We're gonna get out of this. Kenny! I don't care what these fuckers are saying. You're gonna be fine. I can't make it without you. You have to let her go. I'm sorry. I love you. Kenny! Damn it, man! Come on! No right, Clementine. No fucking right! I'm sorry. I didn't know she was just gonna get, like, stumble back into more of them. Oh, hi. Oh shit! Crap, I didn't hit it. Ew! Is he kissing me? I think he is. <laughs> he's ma he's just making out with me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought she was gonna live through it. I didn't think she was just gonna stumble back into more walkers. That's the only reason why I did that. Like run away, please. Uh, <laughs> am I safe here? I feel like I was safe there. Just hang out underneath this walker for a little bit. <laughs> Just take a rest. <laughs> oh, 
It's like, yeah, just calm down. Stop killing walkers. You'll be okay. Best laid plans. Yeah, just keep quiet. Shit. Okay. Why did you do that? I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? Uh. was with me. We can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. We were heading to the place, remember? Look, the walkers are still moving toward the harbor store. Yeah. We can make it out. We stick to. I'm glad you're here. Huh. Are you okay to keep moving? How are the way out of this? Just gonna keep going. Ah, we need a clear path to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Uh anything? There. Oh. Um Clem, we've got to hurry. I know, uh, I'd really like to. Oh. oh. There. Okay, there, good. Attention. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. Ugh. There's too many. Shut up, woman. We'll make a cow catcher. A what? Just we need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. What are we... What? Ah. Uh. Hey! Over here! <laughs> Not gonna bite anybody now, are Oh, that's brilliant. Follow me. Stay close. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. I'm going, I'm going. Go, go! Uh, I'm holding W as hard as I can. Not, I'm not holding it hard, you know. I'm just there. We go. Job. Let's go. And Jane is a badass. Oh my god. I like her. Are they gonna run out of ammo this year? Jesus Christ. How do they have so many bullets anyway? Episode 4, Amid the Ruins. So yeah, uh, sorry about um sorry about Sarita, Kenny. Like, I didn't I didn't want her to die. Sucks. Ugh. That is really inconvenient, you know. <sighs> is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. Will you? Need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? Why wouldn't they be? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Don't even say things like that. Well, it's true. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? 
I think you'd... We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. Yeah, be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? He was dead. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy yeah. part. Yeah. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. Ugh. No. I have to stop. Can we just kill it? I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. You know, one strong kick would, uh, fix all your problems. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. <sighs> Come on. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. <laughs> it was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah, and? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. <sighs> Damn Good it. job. God, you are worthless. There they are. Okay, there's... You can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides... How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. You didn't even see it happen. How do you know what I did? Unless I just told you about it, I guess. Sarita. God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried about worried, you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, 
I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, and it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Probably not, but... Yeah, you never know. Ugh, God. That sucks, man. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. <laughs> and you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well... A lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start... turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation <laughs> is not making things better back then. I like that. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. Ugh. So she was young. That's, uh... I always wanted a sister. 
I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. <laughs> it was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, <laughs> make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> All right. Jackpot. Oh. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. Are they dead? Well, I mean, you know. Oh. Oh, I thought that was someone else that doing one's that. not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently, they weren't walkers, were they? Yeah, that's a good point. Take a look. Does that say, why would they have... Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. <laughs> See what else he's got. I'll check this one. All right. Got oh, oh, nice, uh, nice ass. Um, anyway, <laughs> path less traveled. Uh, smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. Okay. Ooh, nice. A pair of bullets. Hold on to them. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Nice. Getting an inventory again. And... Oh. Find anything? Uh. Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Stab him. Stab him in the head. Stab him in the head. Stab him in the head. Good. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure she did that first. You never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Why? You can't roll a body. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit! These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! That's... Okay, come on. We gotta find that's a way... That's Luke, in. isn't it? Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh shit, that's Nick! Oh no. Oh. It's Nick. I guess he died from the gunshot. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Clementine. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a zombie now. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah.
What was that for? I'm just saying hi. <laughs> okay, sorry. Hit <laughs> me! Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna do it. It's all right. It's done. Yep. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready. For Jane is a badass. I like Jane. No hesitation. It never gets any easier. Does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. Yeah. We can do this. So we're gonna search him too? I mean, he probably had stuff on him. And by the way, weren't we on some kind of time crunch? We were supposed to be, like... Yeah. <laughs> They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. <clears throat> I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. Snap out of it. <laughs> How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other? Okay. Go for it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Hi. <laughs> Bullshit. Hit me. There we go. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Nice work. You know what you're doing. Yep. Now watch this. Oh, let's watch the. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Got a pro on our hands. Check this shit out. Nice. Man, she's good. Take out the knees first. Then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Man, look at her. She's All badass. Right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Oh my god, I love Jane. Don't. Stab him. Yeah. Get away. Glad you're paying attention. Yep. Come on. Uh. Okay. Here we go. Good, good. Not like this. You can't do this. Uh. Honk. Wait. We don't want to make any noise until we've dealt with those guys. Oh, uh, okay. Sarah, what the hell? Uh, anything in here? Leave me alone. What was the point of this? Okay. All right. So I guess we just need to go and kill the walkers. Anything in here? No. Can't help you if you. I can't help you if you don't. All right. Hit. Hit. Nice. You did anything? Nice trick, huh? Yeah, it's great. Oh my god. Can you be my new mommy or something? Oh my god. There's a lot of them. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. Just get it together. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. One of them's got a football we helmet. We might just be able Calm to go down. through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? Let's make some noise. Right. What about, the, what if there's zombies in- What's going to grab their attention? Ow, what the fuck? I got you covered. Okay. Oh, hey. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, I wanna make the car horn noise. Do, 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 do. Why? Why? Damn it, don't do this. Oh my god. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, can I use, like, the body of this walker over here and, like, prop him up on it or something? We're gonna get up and go. Let's see. Bang on the barricade. Eh, 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 eh. No. Huh? <laughs> Whatever. Come on. Okay. 
Well, okay, what could I, like, attach to the car horn or something? Let's see here. Glasses, I got a bullet. I got bullets, I should say. Okay. Look at the dead walker. Can I, like, prop him up on it? Or does, like, he have something on him that I could use? Tara, I'm not... What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Oh my god. Give me a hand. Really? That's about as... That is about as cliche as saying you look like you've seen a ghost. What happens if I... Oh, nothing happens. I didn't stop pressing Q. Like, I, I stopped pressing Q, but it kept going. I thought they were just gonna, like... It was gonna get, like, sucked back. <laughs> There we go. It's working. Hey, come on. Come over here. Uh, could you please shut off that car? Oh shit, no. What did you want me to do? Eh. Uh. Okay, there. Eh. Come on. Oh shit, no. We are gonna die in here. Oh, crap. We gotta move it. Go, go, go! No, I swear to god, if Jane dies, I'm gonna be so Slut. angry. Then try something else. Uh Hey! Are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there! Oh no! Go! Oh, thank God. I really don't want Jane to die. Help me block this! Hurry! Q! E. E. Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him, you know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door. Luke, where's Sarah? I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Yeah, like, what is the deal here? Is she, like, eating human flesh, or is she, Sarah, like... Look, look, it's Clown. See, it's just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for it. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we going to do about her? Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're going to tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Hey. Sarah, it's me. Hey. Hi. Oh my god. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. I have your glasses. Put your glasses back. I hate that I've lost so many people, but it's made me stronger. I learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. You say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you. But you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. Crap, we're surrounded. Well, that's not good. What? 
What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time! Clem. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight! Now! Oh my Come god. On, I'll boost you. No! My god. What's Damn. going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. All right. Found it. Can we use this? Not tall enough. It's not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. All right. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? <laughs> okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Oh shit. Go, 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 go! God. Please don't Clem. die. Clem, help her! Okay. Help Jane! I will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! Go! Okay. No, Jane, I swear to God, you can't die. You're the first character I really, really like in this game. Oh my god, Jane, come on. Okay, good. Go, 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 go. Please. Luke, you first. We need you up top. Okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her! Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Okay. Well. What's up? Clementine? Well. Now you decide to wake up. We didn't have a choice. Okay, there's nothing we could do. There's, there's nothing we could do. Well, hey, there's no Carlos, so we don't have to like answer to him. So it's okay. Come on. Man, she was useless. Ugh, a heavy burden. Is it really, though? It's not really a heavy burden for me. Maybe I'm just an asshole. Oh, God. I'm probably just an asshole. About Sarah. Yep. I, uh... I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. We didn't have a choice. She wouldn't have come with us. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. It's a fair point. Yeah. I guess... I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. What do you mean? Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay. I get it. Things aren't always simple. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. 
or push her or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety, or ours. Sarah wasn't Jamie. She wanted to make it. She just couldn't. Then maybe she didn't really want it. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Here's hoping Carlos isn't still alive. That way I don't have to be like, So, uh, I kind of left your daughter in a motorhome and I watched her get eaten. How am I going to need you to work? come in on work on Saturday? Yeah, hopefully that's not what happens. But it probably will. Son of a bitch. What's up? You found him. Well, one of them. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself. Tell you the truth. Well, we found them both. Or for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? She did. And Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we uh we go for a walk for a minute? Uh let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. <laughs> no. What do you care about Sarah? No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. Oh, God. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? I don't know. Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after you left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. Uh. I don't think he's doing well. Uh. uh I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> well, time to get, uh, time to get my ass chewed out again. Oh, can I walk around, or is it just... To, I guess it's just to the tent. Approach it. BANG! He's gonna, like, shoot at me. Oh, no. Wow. Eh. We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Kenny, you're not... You're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. 
Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Is that all his blood, or is that just, uh, <laughs> blood from the previous owner of the tent? Ugh. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Isn't that far away, though? The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem... What? I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. I can stay here and help. Kenny and I got that covered. Oh, okay. Hey, you'll be more help scouting with the others. You want to come with us? Okay. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast. And let's be careful. Alright. Oh my god. I'm not talking much. There's actually, like, a lot of good dialogue and story development here. I'm sorry if that's weird or something, but... Like, I'm just having... I'm just along for the ride here, you know? I'm just enjoying Jane's badassery and stuff. There. Fuck. It's a wreck. You ain't even been inside yet. <laughs> just look at it. Glass all blown out. Walkers hanging around. Maybe we can still find something. <sighs> yeah. Gone. What time is it, anyway? It is... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I just really want sticking with y'all to work out. And it's been hard so far. How about you make it up to us by helping out with those walkers up there? Yeah, alright. Jane showed me a good way to attack them. If you take out a knee, they always fall. And then you can stab them in the back of the neck. Hmm. A good smack to the head's always done fine for me. Alright. Oh. Yeah, see? The knee. Sweep the leg. Infantry, infantry, infantry. So the knee is about halfway down the leg. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's do this before more of them show okay, up. Okay, that was funny. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Watch out for the broken glass. It's all over. History lesson. Okay. Somebody's already been through here. Guess that's not a surprise. Still, <sighs> might be something worthwhile left. Let's check it out. We need to look fast so we can get back to the others. Let's just make a sweep. I really don't want to go back empty-handed. Yeah. Cannon. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. D okay, the old guard. Do you think these work? Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Yeah, I know. Also really loud. Good point. That would be cool, though. If we could, like, get a 
goddamn Civil War cannon. Or like a Gatling gun. Oh, that'd be amazing if we could get like a Gatling gun working. Hey! Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just... Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... uh we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Okay. That display table. I didn't really mean for that to be uh, mean to Bonnie. I was like, well, hey, you figured out the Carver was kind of an asshole, so yeah, that's good. I meant for that you to be think a... maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. <laughs> no, I wanted to. Never mind. <laughs> uh, boy. Oh, hey, a box. And water cooler! Oh, yeah! There should have been some animals through here. Watch where you step. I think that's the last... Oh, oh, I see it! It's in there. Yeah! This is gonna have a key under it. Oh. Guess not. Okay. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Man, they are worthless. They're just standing around talking. Hey! Over here! Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. Oh, yeah. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. <laughs> Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Well, well, well. Because I'm a tiny child. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Oh, shit, no! Oh, that's really bad! Oh my god, yeah, choke him out. Dylan! Well... That happened. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. <laughs> but you're tough for your size. <laughs> Shit. You're tough for my size. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked you. I won't do it again. Well, it's not your fault. At least now we got something to bring back. Two of them. Oh my god. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Yeah. Oh my god. Hopefully they're like full. Hercules, the younger gears. Come on. Oh. Hey, I got this. Oh, oh I tried. <laughs> That's a lot of water. My God. That looks pretty heavy. That's uh, all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Yeah. Carver was crazy. But at least his shells were always full. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Okay. What'd you Come find? On. Stick close. Did you find like stores of crack? Oh! I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon. I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Oh shit. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think over here! <laughs> Shoot it. Yeah, look how angry it looks. Oh, oh shit! I gotcha! Shoot! Fuck. Dying it! Dying it! <laughs> oh my god. Not with the walkers out there. Aww. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <laughs> oh. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. All right. We don't have much time to waste. Yeah, I like how it actually got darker over the course of our time being there. It got a bit darker. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museum's out? Museum's a bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. We found some water, though. Oh, that's good. Nice work. Good. Good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, you can go to the river. Hey, Clem. Uh, what the... wait. Wasn't there more text there? Glad you made it back safe. Oh! Okay. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's gonna be a girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Yeah, and when you're gone, I'm gonna, like, <sighs> oh, shit. like roast it I got this. over a fire and eat it. <laughs> I'm worried that we ain't seen Jane in a while. Go check on her, would you? Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. <laughs> can I, like... Can I, like, eat your child, Rebecca? Please, can I eat it? Because, uh... <laughs> well, I mean, we missed out on that raccoon. And... Correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe that a small newborn infant child would probably be around the same size as a raccoon. Uh, what the hell? Where am I? What's going on here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why, I just want to eat a baby in this game. <laughs> I just want to eat... I just want to... I just want to, uh... Be... A, I just want to do some cannibalism in this Jane? game. Jane! For some reason. I don't really know why, I just kind of want to. Because it's like, well, I mean, we're smashing zombies' heads with sledgehammers, we're friggin' crushing living people's heads with salt blocks, and we're clubbing people to death with uh, crowbars, watching people get their eyes punched in like a million times. I kind of just want to indulge in a little bit of cannibalism. Hey, Clementine, up here. I mean, it's not like the zombies aren't already doing that, so, you know, why not? I just really want to be a cannibal for a little bit. I mean, technically I already was in the first game. Oh, hey. Museum was a bust, huh? Yeah. We found water. A lot of it. Well, that's something, at least. Check this out. What you got? This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Well, I've been trying to get it open, but it's locked pretty tight. Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. 
Oh, the nail file. Maybe this will work. Yeah. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. Oh my god, Jane is like such a badass. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Bitch, I don't even know what mechanism means. Mechanism. Mechanism. Look at trash can. It's actually, it looks more like a recycling can. Find anything? No, not even trash. Well, how lame. Oh, well, at least we found a picture of Colonel Sanders right here. That's good. Colonel Sanders, the number one general of the Confederate Union. Civil War shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> the Confederate Union. Colonel Sanders being a good general. Jesus Christ. Ooh. What do we got? I guess it's broken. No, it's one of the pay ones, probably. Like in the first game. Where we had to friggin' go and uh, vandalize a store shelf. And then we had to get infographic. You need defensive line? Oh. Ow! Shit! What? You okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Don't get infected on that friggin' nail file. I do not want to have to shoot you because you were awesome. Is there anything in there? There were more cannons in the museum. Mike said they're just for show. They fell in with cement, so they're safe. Damn it. This one's not. Oh, please. Oh. Man! Come on, that'd be badass. Imagine if we get to use a cannon and, like, shoot the damn door down. Telescope. What about this one? There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Wait a minute, who Keep the hell are you? Mind, Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. Who are you? And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Well, you have a gun. Oh, he's got a... Oh, I see. He's got, like, a crutch. Or a... thing. Uh. Hey. I just want to talk to you. Who are you? Uh. I am Arvo. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay. I am not going. Ah! Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Don't kick me. Uh. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. Anything? Uh, tons of medicine. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No. You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried! Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! 
Clementine, we need people that stuff. are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bosha. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Ah, uh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Seriously? Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Whoa. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Jeez. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? No, you just look friggin' scary. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Okay. Man, that was, uh, was pretty touch and go there. Like, oh my god. Okay, so she almost went, uh, what's her name? I don't even remember the name of the person that, like, you know. Uh, the girl who shot Carly, what was it, Jill? Billy? Fucking Millie? I don't remember. <laughs> hey. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but... Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Who are you talking to? Are you talking about Jane me? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Yeah, I did. I remember that scene. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. All right. You are very concerned with how this whole situation is turning Clem into whatever she's going to wind up becoming. Like, you're very, very concerned about how this is all affecting her. I don't really know why. I mean, she's just another person. Seems a little bit strange, you know? Oh, oh good. Oh. Shit, shit! Oh, God! Breathe oh. like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God! Uh, guys, oh. zombies? Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've gotta do something. We gotta move her. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Museum. It's our only choice. No. No, Jane and I found a place. Okay, good. I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Uh. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, help Kenny. On it. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Not letting Kenny die after all this. 
Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... That is him. He's doing it to protect us. Sure, but... Uh. It's like, uh, I'll just overlook that. The fact that he's just smacking the same zombie over and over again. Kenny! Come on, man. Let's go! Okay. It's like, let him get it out. Honestly, if he gets it out, I think he'll start to be better. Nice. Shut up, woman. Jeez. Arvo, are you are you gonna be in here with a gun? You're gonna be like trying to shoot us. I know you are. That's about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. Uh, wow, really? J Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um. <laughs> What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. Oh my God, really? What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh, you want to uh, close the damn they're shutter? They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Okay. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. We're already up here. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end it off here. <laughs> I'm ending it off here. Next time on The Walking Dead, we shoot bitches. And then, um, baby time. I guess. And yeah. Anyway, see ya.